guys, this is Justin. We're going to do a redo tutorial on how to add music to your website. And we're also going to do on this video how to stop it from auto playing once you load up your website. So let's get started and try to make this quick. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is open up iTunes. I already have it opened up in my spaces on my Mac. Find the song that you want. For me, it's going to be this song right here, Hold On Loosely by 38 Special. I'm going to click it, make sure it's highlighted drag it out onto your desktop and just drop it and we can see right there it's dropped onto my desktop the well, next thing I want to do is put it into my root folder this is my root folder over here this is where everything is stored in for my website as we can see here it's all my website stuff so what I need to do is come over to the song click it I'm going to drag it and drop it right into that folder anywhere. Doesn't matter right now. Next thing we want to do is open up Dreamweaver. I already have Dreamweaver open. I'm sure you probably do as well. So I need to come over here, look for my song that we just dropped in there, and bam, there it is. And next thing I need to do is open up a new folder. So I'm going to come up here to Site. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to new folder. Down here we have our new folder. We're going to name it. I'm going to name it music. You can name it whatever you want. Media, web music, whatever you want. I'm going to name that music. We're going to see Dreamweaver is probably going to move that folder for me, or maybe not. Next thing we need to do is click on our song and drag it into that new folder we created and we can see that now it moved it right up here we can see that we have our music and the music the song is in there next thing we need to do is make sure we have our cursor where we want our plugin or where we want that song to be played the player for it and we're gonna come up here and go ahead and go into insert media and then come all the way down to plugin now we're gonna get this folder right up here which is all our everything for our website all the stuff that we have stored and we just created this new folder right here music and there it is so I'll go ahead and click on it oops go to our song click on our song and there we go we can see we have now a little plugin so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and let's preview this in uh, Firefox right now. I'm going to come up here, preview it. Oh, I'm going to have to do it again because I wasn't already on the web. So I'm going to go back, preview it again. And there it is. We can see that it plays as soon as we load up the website. Oh, we have a pause and play button here. Only problem is that's a very small player. I'm sure you can see it. We have no options here of what we can do other than pause and play. So we need to fix that. First thing we're going to do is get back in a Dreamweaver. Make sure that our plugin is highlighted. We can see some things happening down here when I plug, when I highlight my plugin, look at the bottom left, and when I'm not into my plugin. So make sure the plugin's highlighted. We can come up here to our code view, and we can see we have the width 32, height 32. We can change it there, or we can come down here, and we can change it here. So let's go ahead and change it right here. I'm going to change it to, I'm going to change the width to 200, and, not just 200. And the height, I'm going to change to, let's say, uh, 50. And we can see here that it's already changing. Another way we could do this is we can go ahead and click on that and drag it out, which I think I'm going to do just to show you, and minimize it up or shrink it up. And now let's take a, let's do a Command S to save, Command or Control S, preview it in Firefox once again. <laughs> and now we can see we have a player. That looks a lot better. So if I want to adjust the song, 
or the volume, I'll click on that, hold it, and move my slider around. Pause it, we can pause. If we have another song, we can go to the next song, fast forward, and what have you. And that's about it for that. Now what I don't want it to do is I don't want it to autoplay, meaning every time the user goes to your website to view it, that song comes on, that gets a little annoying. A lot of people don't like that. So what we're going to do, there's a couple ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the easy way right now. Making sure that we are in our plugin. Never mind that, I just clicked too many times. Knowing that we have our plug plugin highlighted, we're going to come down here into parameters. Click parameters. And under parameter, we're going to type in the word auto play. Then we're simply going to tab over to the value. And the value of that we want to be false. So we have auto play for parameter and false for value. You can go ahead and click OK. Command S to save. Command or Control S to save. And we're going to preview it in Firefox again and see what happens here. And there it is. Nothing is playing. I have to make it play. Or pause. So that's it, guys. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Pretty simple. Um, I'll show you one other thing. If we wanted to, we could come up into code where we are right here. And we could also type in autoplay false right after our height parameters. So there we go. That's pretty cool. Pretty simple. Um, I hope this helped. If it did, uh, please, please rate it, thumbs up, send me a video, and let me know how I'm doing. I'm just starting, as you can see, to do tutorials. So I hope it all worked out for you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.